I still use a flukes, uh, just a normal fluke. You guys probably have those here, right? This straight, straight up fluke and um, and like all solid colors, I, I fish upside down, flat side down, and all the you know colors, I trim the backs on them, like like the say the smoking shad. Um, on any type bait like that where you want to w wiggle, you can kind of just take the shoulders off it where it has a flat top. Just make it kind of more rounded. So I usually take a pair of sharp scissors and cut cut the cut the from about where the, from the front to the back almost. Just cut it kind of take that corner off, and that makes the bait swim better. But I do that even on the tiny ones. I, I throw a lot of tiny flukes on the on the eighth ounce and sixteenth or the eighth ounce and the and the three sixteenths. I throw a lot of tiny flukes. I do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I fish, uh, my favorite size is a three quarter. Uh, and if I had a one ounce, I'd probably fish it a lot more, but um, a lot of times that three quarter is my favorite. And uh, he's talking about the scrounger, you guys, I don't know if you, I hope you're hearing me, but um, a three quarter with a fluke, uh, this normal fluke, pearl, or there's a color called, uh, it's got like a pearl hologram flake. I think it's a custom color you got to order. But uh, you do that on uh, like 10 to 12 pound line most of the time, and I fish it down to 40 feet. So, and you can cast, that's, that's, that's when, I, when, I, when I spool up a shaky fish, uh, three quarter ounce, I usually put 180 feet of line on it because I'm casting 150 at least, and then I'm also letting it sink a lot of times. But a lot of times on that, on that bait for fishing deep, um, I don't let it sink free spool. Like on some other baits I do, uh, like a shaky head, a lot of times I'll click it in gear. I'll click my bait over before it hits the bottom, just so it pendulums down a little, pulls the line down, because you get a bit you're totally free spool on a long cast, you got that a really lot of bow in your line and you'll miss fish. So like on the shaky fish, I do that and on my football heads, I'll usually, I might let them sink five or 10 feet free spool. Once I get past that, I'll click, put it in gear and I'll just hold it and let it pendulum down. And when it pendulums down, I, I, you get, if it does, a fish does hit it, when it hits the bottom and you set the hook, you got a lot more solid hook set than if you were letting it fall free. And a lot of times you set the hook, you got a slack, you'll get a lot of slack in there and you can't get them. So that's another thing I do with a lot of like, like drop shot and long casts. I, I kind of click it in gear and let pendulum down. And by the time it gets down, it's not, you know, it's like this instead of uh, maybe like that, you know, you get that arc.